Hello and welcome to Vulcan Lords of Man. This is a game that's currently still in alpha. And yeah, it caught my eye on Steam. So I bought it about two months ago and played a little bit back then. And yeah, as you can see, I uh, leveled up a character to level 13. And yeah, now I thought, why not check it out again and see what progress they made. Because uh, even back then, two months ago, it already was a really beautiful game. So I'm gonna create a new character here. Oh, I already got one, which I will delete. And create a new one. And uh, this time, I guess I will try to go as a ranged character. I will once again try female. Who cares? So the interesting thing is also uh, every character starts with the same equipment. In this case just a club and nothing else. And you can develop the character as you see fit. So we're gonna head into the game now. And I guess I will just yeah, I will skip the loading screens because they're still fairly long. Two hours later. All right. Here we are. As you can see, there was like a bridge collapsing behind us. We, had, we don't really know why, but that's okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's basically just a easy graphic hack and slay. Although with this game, unfortunately, uh, I can adjust the camera for my choosing. Okay, we can immediately choose between two different spells. I will take the lightning, please and thank you. And I just learned lightning, which I can s cast with Q. So yeah, the UI also is like fairly basic. You have like your health in the middle, you have your mana, you have rage which you gain by dealing damage which you then can spend on special uh, skills. You have your few skill slots where you can set up uh, specific skills of course like I did with the lightning strike. And of course you have the left and right mouse button. Okay, uh, not sure what to do here. Should I just go through? Yeah, I should. <laughs> All right. So this is still, uh, still the tutorial area. And in just a few seconds I will show you another area where where I think this game shines above all else. And this is not a character screen. I'm so sorry. Ah, which was it? No, that's a skill. <coughs> Damn it, this is a little bit embarrassing. Oh. Yes. This one. This, my friends, is the skill tree. It's fucking awesome. I don't have any points right now, but if I zoom in, you can see there are five paths I could take at the very beginning. But also... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can rotate these layers for my choosing and basically, yeah, build a hybrid character, for example. I mean, in this case, I will go probably go for the 
range path if there is any. I think it was a green one. Yeah, it goes for like typical agility hero. Yeah. And so I would need this section here probably on top of this one so that I could purely go on agility ranged weapon. Yeah. So this is something it's way too many information in here to go through all of that but if you decide to give this game a chance you can look it up for yourself there are really a lot of possibilities so let me just close the screen so it was this one okay and we are continued through the tutorial area here and I, I really hope the recording gives enough credit to how insanely good this game looks. Necessarily not yet, because we are still like in just a stupid cave area. Oh yeah, maybe also very interesting. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh Oh no, damn it. Because this game just like uh, for example uh Divinity Original Sin can uh, tinker with the elements. So I think there was an option when I uh, like fire up an oil pedal that it's burning. And I think there also was an option for for electricity traveling through water, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, this is a very very dark area here. Just gonna finish these here because I really want the experience points. Okay, and here's it's lightening up. And once we are out of the cage, you can see how beautiful this game looks. It's really awesome. I'm not particularly a fan of the character design per se, but the environment, oh boy. Also, I just noticed. Yeah, I should use my right click more often. Because it gets rid of enemies way more effective. Yeah. So, as I said, this game is still in alpha. And yeah, there are some issues. Um, back then, at least two months ago, I experienced. Uh, still a few crashes, which, well, it wasn't that bad. Maybe in all the hours I played, three or four crashes, which is okay for a game and offer. Because, at least that's my opinion, they should, uh, in this state of the game, should still focus on adding content. Which could be seen as a problem for this game, to be fair. Um, because at the moment it's not much more than hack and slay, and, and that's it. I mean, you're given a basic uh, main quest line, but other than that, there's not much going on. Um, in all the time I've spent playing this game, so far I have encountered like two NPCs uh, who I actually could interact with uh, depend uh, or uh, in regards of the main quest of course there are also like merchants and all that stuff where you can buy money from can buy money from can buy stuff for money
So, that's it. Um, yeah, like I said, the environment, it just looks gorgeous. And what I also really like is the coloring. I, I f I'm not sure if I can describe it in a way that is fair for the design. Um, I think it's kind of dull in a good way. You know, for example, with like Blizzard games, you also have a really high color saturation, which is part of the reason why these games have an addicting nature to them. But it never looks realistic. You know, you never look at it and say, yeah, that's how nature could look in real life. No, it's, it's too colorful in these games. And I don't think this is the case here. The environment really looks like an environment. This is totally how a forest could look like. And also I really like the detail in your zoom in and your walk through grass. Like the grass just moves out of the way of the character just like it would in real life. That's That's a really nice detail. So, unfortunately at the moment we are still kind of in the tutorial area. There's a boss waiting ahead. Um, who is a little bit tricky but still manageable of course. Since it's the very first one in this game. But yeah, we're still uh, limited to towards what we want to play this game at. Still dependent purely on melee. With, uh, well, back in the main menu, the level 13 character you saw then. Uh, that was also a melee, but more a melee assassin. So it was a dex build with high damage output but uh, not very much resistance or armor and whatnot and to be fair that build was kind of OP at the end um, I think they still will have to do some tinkering with the yeah overall balance of the game because I was just slaughtering also uh, not just normal creeps also like bosses were nearly instant kills oh nearly overlooked this so yeah as you can see sometimes it makes totally sense to rotate the camera in order to well look for chests and whatnot I know there are some hidden ones but I can't seem to remember where. Okay, but you know what? For the sake of this video, I will now continue on to the crest area where our first boss will appear. Yep. I activate the rain point and now stuff happens. Of course, uh, of course, gate is closing. And I think at first a really a large number of normal creeps appears. Oh, and as you can see... Oh boy, I totally forgot what was my healing. Let me quickly look up. But I am one. Oh, okay. Wait. No, I don't have healing yet. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, this is the boss, by the way.
And he's really doing quite a lot of damage for such an early boss. No, stay away from me, please. Thank you. Ooh, he's charging? No, he's not. Oh, fuck. No, 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 go away. Thanks. Oh, yeah, thank you. Healing. That was kind of... I guess I oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Okay. That's half of the boss down. He's doing something. Not really sure what. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Fuck you. Okay. I should have it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Didn't have this error before, but okay. As soon as you finish this boss, a guy will appear and yeah, will tell you how awesome you are defeating that boss, etc. And yeah, they basically wonder why you activated this waypoint here. Let me just read it. See you that you escaped the Republic's prison. Oh, I just skipped already one text. Ah, fuck it. You can read it for yourself. The more important part is we got some 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 ability points and some stat points. Okay. We just increase my health a little bit and the other parts are all going into agility. And now for this beauty. Oh yes. That's an active skill that lays a trap for my enemy. And this is passive. And one more point. Okay, it gives me a little boost once I kill a uncommon enemy, just like a boss or an elite or whatever. And this one. Oh, that's that's really good. <laughs> yeah, and these are still placeholder skills. So I will take this one for now. And confirm the selection. Hooray! I will travel to the only target location that is available right now. Yeah, we did not manage to land in our quest target location. I think in the in the city where we actually want to go, but it's just a few steps. Basically, it gives us the chance to once again show you how gorgeous this game looks. It really does. Um, down here, that's a path you will have to take later. It's closed off by now. And we will just enter the city. Where... Oh yeah, that's right. A quite a short cinematic video will play. Just beautiful. And um, this game is made with the Cry Engine, of which I'm usually not really a fan of. Because uh, although looking really astonishing, in my opinion, it's very resource hungry. Oh yeah, and as you can see, I already got some items in here from my other playthroughs. Okay. But I will ignore these items because I want to go as a hunter. Oh, which I can't even afford by now. Because the bow is way too expensive. I will just go to this quest NPC. Yay, I'll get a hundred gold. Okay. 
and yeah, then this guy has the task to equip us with basic armor, which I gladly will put on. So now we have a, our first quest. Ah, it's still annoying that I can't really can't really buy this bow. I really would like to. Huh. Can I maybe sell something from here? Maybe this. Ah, I'm still gonna sell it, but it doesn't have enough value to it by by a landslide, actually. Okay. Oh yeah, the map is not really detailed. You just have <coughs> a very very stylish map of the country. It looks like it's it's in a drawing style. Uh, it reminds me of the old D and D games for PC. Where you also just have specific locations where you could go to. Uh, and then again, I saw that Nevermitter Knights uh, received a remaster. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, here we have like really legendary weapons, but they are way too expensive for us. We will have to go the way I told you just a few minutes ago. Uh, why is it? Okay. Was just wondering why this uh, why this NPC was named. Now we're basically going down into the wilderness again. Yeah, this is a fairly rocky area. And in the distance, in the background, we can see a chest. And of course, we will go for that chest as soon as possible. Basically, he just wants me that the creatures here are stronger than in the tutorial area. Which they, uh, to be fair, actually are. So they're, they're really no joke. And they actually also... Uh, yeah, they defend themselves and are way more aggressive. There we go. On the minimap at the top right corner, you can see a symbol that uh, like symbolizes the stairs with an arrow down. That basically just means that yeah, there's an entrance to a mini dungeon. Okay. Good thing is these enemies here give me quite some experience. So, this one will be interesting because these mini dungeons usually are pretty hard. Got him. Nah, really. Alright. has a lot of HP. Oops. Whew. All right. 
Oh fuck, there's the guy. Ah. I was just wondering, usually there's a hard guy here. Okay, that was easier than I remember it. Yeah. Very nice. We got some loot. Um, we'll put this on. Oh, a ranger outfit. That's, of course, way better. We'll take that. We have a belt. Okay. Maximum health increases. Okay. Yeah. And we got us. Oh, wait, that's even better, I think. Oh no, it's all the, the same. No, actually, this is better for me because it gives me dexterity. Um, it's a shame that uh, I think so far that you can't uh, hide your helmet. But there we go. We got our first better armor, and we are still looking out for that one chest we saw in the background. And it should be back here. There it is. Really nice. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Oh, we got a cape. That's nice. So that's a salvage sword. We will equip that. And an amulet. Alright. I think this is lightning infuse or I don't know. Yeah, but as you can see the damage is, is coming around nicely. But it has a weird sound to it. Wow. So yeah, um, the world, by the way, is uh, pre-designed, so there is, as far as I know, no random generation happening. And we got us a crossbow. Alright, I will try this. Let me quickly check the skill book because there should be yep hunting ground. All right, confirm this. Okay, a chance to immobilize enemies, that's also good. And a higher chance to have a critical against immobilize enemies. Oh, yes. So yeah, I am advancing my skills in the ranged path. Okay, as you can see, this is doing quite some damage. Okay, I think I got a tome back here. What's this tome? Conflagration. Okay. Thanks, but no thanks. 
Oh yeah, I remember this area. We are now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a graveyard area. Okay, and apparently here we have a level three creeps. Oh boy. Oh, fuck me. All right. That trap is awesome. We found another mini dungeon here, which we will gladly explore. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> So it apparently gives me a server error each time I level up, or what? Oh, a ghoul? That's a new monster. Why am I not hitting it? Oh, I'm hitting my ally. Okay. Oh yeah, and I have to admit, another thing that's kind of bad is that items are only shown when you mouse over them on the ground. So at least a name. There's another enemy in the corner. Nice. And we're going up again. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, the traps are really good. Um, I will now, however, push my stats again. Oh yeah! Oh, that's an active skill. Cycle for different animations and give your shot special effects. He uses charge. Charge If time uses spell, cycle for toxic, serrated, and sharp shots. Okay. This is fucking awesome. I will take this. Right, please and thank you. Ooh, yes. Okay. I can now cycle through three different kinds of ammunition. I think the first one was... I don't remember honestly. But it's oh, fucking doing damage. Uh, toxic, serrated and sharp. Alright. Holy shit, am I doing damage right now? Yeah. Another mini dungeon here, but I think we first. Yeah, we first will activate that shortcut over here. 
Uh, the waypoint, I'm sorry. Oh, this is poison. I think this is sharp? Yeah, impairing ammunition. Oh no, it's always the same. This seems to be sharp and this is toxic. Oh, these are the ones that cause bleed. Yeah, this is good. I want bleed. Yeah, we found the NPC we are looking for. God damn it. Okay. Kill the Grave Keeper at the end of the crypt. Alright, we'll do so. Gladly. Yeah. You activated my trap card. Then again, I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, yeah, the sharp ones are probably better. Because with the normal creeps, like the bleeding doesn't do anything at all. Come on, step into my trap, which has a weird graphical glitch, unfortunately. Yeah, of course I get a server error because I'm leveling up. <laughs> That's alpha for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm just baiting him into my traps. Oh, I immobilized him successfully. Nice. Oh boy. Awesome. First, let me check the equipment. We got, oh yeah, shadow resistance. That's okay. Maximum resources are also fine. Ooh, yes. No. 16 to 29. Oh. I was just thinking maybe I could switch to the bow, but I just saw that apparently my crossbow does way more damage, so I will stay on that. Yep. Got the healing item. That's important. And of course, once again, I will. will do my skill points. So yeah, we are advancing quite a bit, as you can see. Uh -huh. Shots, I'm not sure what this does. But this apparently is something important. Oh. Plus 5% done on all ranged. Yeah, that's something I absolutely take. 
Uh, what else? What else? I want to have this, okay. Yeah, let's do this way. Basically, I'm not too worried about to level up because I will get it, uh, them all anyway at the end. So, it wants us to go. Oh, okay, further to the west. Tell you what, I'm already on uh, over 40 minutes of recording. I'm not sure how long this episode will be at the very end. So, I will end it for now and leave you with this. Um, once again, the game's name is The Vulcan, uh, Lords of Mayhem. Please give it a chance if you're interested in Hacker Slays and if you appreciate good graphics. Because it sure does look beautiful. Let me just sell all that stuff I don't need. And the Handforged Bow, hand bow just got more expensive. What? Oh, that's a disappointment. No, no, come on, no, no, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I will stay on the crossbow for now. Yeah, right, there are pistols in this game. <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah, please, if you're interested in uh, these games, uh, give this game a chance. It's still on alpha, but they actually released a roadmap on what they will try to implement in the future. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Bye.